Hi, I'm the Oaks, and that's Sir Walter. Let's go on an adventure. Walter here has been through a lot in his life. Yes, when we first got him, his skin conditions that we need to deal with. But overall, he has been extremely healthy in the last seven years of his life. But Walter here did have one major incident about a year ago. Last year, October 2020, we were out hiking, all of us, uh, myself, my son, and our, all three of the doggies. Um, at the time we were off leash because it was a nice day but we hadn't had any kind of issues that we had encountered where um, they needed to be on leash and there was very little activity from oil workers and um, cattle in the area at the time. Uh, we were on the way back at the time and Walter here with Virginia was ahead and all of a sudden I hear him whining. As I'm looking in that direction, I see a rattlesnake. Of course your mind immediately goes crazy. What just happened? What's going to happen to the little boy? What's going to happen to your favorite animal? Now that he just got potentially bit by a rattlesnake. Um, there was some blood and I checked what was the situation with him. And I could see right about there, two puncture marks on his nose. Instead of going all crazy, I knew we had to get him to the vet as soon as possible, but at the same time he needed to remain calm so that nothing uh, happened and that the blood wouldn't flow as fast as a result of anxiety or anything. <clears throat> and. I put him on leash, kept him close, walked at a leisurely slow consistent pace with him while I had the other dogs on leash, my kid on on a little seat that I had strapped around me. Um, so it was a, quite a walk. Um, we were about 30 minutes from the car at the time and as we were getting closer to the car I actually called our vet and told him, hey we're out he just got bit by a rattlesnake, can we come in? I don't quite think I fully grasp the seriousness of the situation at that moment, um, but we were able to immediately drive over, and as I walked in, he was immediately taken to the back to see the vet. <coughs> and then I got the other two dogs and the kid, and just to make sure he was immediately in treatment. So we were at the vet within an hour of, of him getting bit and they were very nice, explained everything and <coughs> they were going to keep him to make sure he got antivenom into him. Um, this happened on a Friday and we got twice a day updates. Uh, they Initially, of course, we had swelling, especially around his jaw, his neck, it really swelled up. I'll show a picture um, somewhere here once we had him back. And by Sunday, they said the swelling was going down, he was reacting well to the meds, and everything was looking good again. <clears throat> uh, Monday afternoon, I was able to then pick him up, and he was still pretty swollen up. I have some pictures of that here in a second to give you a sense of how bad it was. Uh, <clears throat> from there, of course, we kept it easy for the next couple of days with him to make sure he rested some more and henceforth he has been on leash. Ironically, we hadn't seen a rattlesnake prior to that incident at all. We hadn't seen one in that area. For the next months, every time we were out there, we saw a rattlesnake. 
some of them fairly small, some of them pretty sizable. Um, and we've been very cautious now with him and the other ones to make sure that they don't get bit by rattlesnakes, that they don't get close to them. And um, for the most part, we have figured out roughly where their spots are and avoid those areas as best as we can um, to not have any run-ins, not disturb them. Oftentimes it really comes down to we accidentally stumble upon each other and we're all scared and unfortunately of course rattlesnakes bite when they get scared and it creates a whole lot of hazard for all of us. But it's really important to kind of remain calm in those situations, don't get the animal totally riled up, that way the blood flow is normal, the venom doesn't spread as fast, and get them to a vet as quickly as you can so that they can take care of your animal. Today he is perfect health again, no, no repercussions whatsoever from it, and of course, now that we're moving to Austria, we're not going to see any rattlesnakes in the future.